now accept the fact I'm not letting you fly that over here. How are you going to stop me? Well, I'm sure we can think of something. Right, well, let's, let's put that to the test then, shall we? Because the drone is being turned on right now. It's being placed on the ground. There are no flight restrictions in this area. So, welcome back to the channel, guys. Today, we're here in Luton, Halton Road, LU4 postcode. Taking a look at a brand new Lidl, the Lidl Luton Regional Distribution Center. So, this entrance isn't signed, but I think this is going to be the HGV entrance. I don't think it's actually in operation at the moment. They might still be building it through this little gap in the fence here. We can clearly see the big little sign, a large car park, some concrete barriers to stop the traffic coming in that lane. I think that might be a security vehicle. Yeah, security dog unit. Bit of a gatehouse up there. Some ground workers doing some work on the ground there, look. Digging the concrete of some sort. Or only temporary. There'll be some sort of gatehouse around this area to let vehicles in and out. to my camera yeah well you, 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 not asked if no, you can record the camera you were not. nowhere near my shop my friend no. you've walked into it what were you doing recording the site that's my business no, it's, it's not, not your business it's yes it is building. so what i will ring the police and see if it's your business shall we do you think i'm on your property or something i'm not, I'm not questioning you mate you, you, you have you clearly have questioned me so i don't understand what you're saying where am I standing? Am I standing on your property? The answer is no. Get back to work. Messing around with my work. Get, you get, I was filming over there. You're getting in my shot. What's it got to do with you? Have I come over asking you what your work is? Have I come over to ask you about your work? Who are you? Go on then. Yeah, keep I it still, keep it still. No, don't get me name, pal. Well, do you want my name? If you want. No. I'm working, I'm filming over there. You're, You're walked into my shop. Who? What's it got to do with you? Because it's our building. Am I, I on you your that. site right now? You're recording our site. So what? What if it was on fire? Can I record it then? We'll get security here. If your building was on fire, can I record it then? The answer is yes. I don't know. The cheek of some people. I'm standing here getting some shots. And they come over, barking their orders, telling me what to do. Ridiculous. He's on the phone now, look. 999, man with a dangerous camera. Putting his nose into my business. clearly standing outside the gates just on a little uh, traffic island and they come over thinking they can uh, tell me what to do
So that's one entrance closed. Let's go and have a look at the other one, shall we? So here we are at gate number two. A little bit more on show here. And there is a public footpath running directly past this entrance. So let's have a good look, shall we? Already, immediately, we've got security saying not allowed. How ridiculous does that sound? Don't worry, mate. It's all right. Sorry? Don't worry about me. You are making a video of, uh, of Lidl? Yeah. Why? Don't worry about it. No, you are not allowed, mate. Why not? Because you are not allowed. We are restricted. No one is allowed to make a video of this site. Says who? Our manager. All right. Yeah. Is there any reason you are making a video? Just so. Uh, I wanted to make a video about the place. Sorry, mate, you are not allowed. If you want to make a video for this place, you can make a video for this place. You are not allowed to make a video for the little, yeah? You sure? 100% sure, yeah, mate. That don't sound right to me. Yeah, but yeah, because uh, this side is so um, undergoing side, construction side. So we are, right now, there are so many contractors are working over here. So it's a privacy. So we are not allowed to take a video for this side. But you're not. Sorry? Who's not allowed? Our side manager has instructed us, so no one is allowed to make a video for this side, mate. What, that includes me, in the public? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can see from, uh, from, uh, from there, but you are not allowed to make a video. I can stand outside and film? Yeah, yeah, you, you can't film. But you, if you want to uh, watch, you can watch, but you can't film. But if I'm standing on the public footpath and watching, yeah. I can film as well, can't I? Because, but we have restricted that no one is uh, allowed to make a video of this side, mate. I think those rules just apply to you lot, inside. They don't apply to me, outside. Do you want to check? I'm a security officer over here. So yeah. This will not apply on me, mate. Oh, you can take photos? No, I, why should I take? Because we are taking photos because we are doing security. Right, so you can take photos, but... We, are, we do, because we are doing security for this side. We can take photos because we have to send these photos to our, uh, you know, company managers, you know, right. that we are doing a security for this side. Right. Yeah, mate. So security are allowed to take the photos, but members of the public on the outside just looking because it looks looks yeah, really it's, big, it's really just, nice. It, yeah, it's just a privacy, you know. If we, you if you are making a video from uh, outside or from there, it's, it's okay. But in front of cameras, you are making a video, so it's not okay, yeah, mate. Yeah. W what will happen then if I carry on? Sorry. What will happen if I carry on? Will you manage to get cross? No, I'm just uh, informing you. Yeah, it's not allowed, mate. Yeah, but I I've travelled all this way to make a video about little distribution center Luton 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 right. this is Luton distribution yes, yes, center yeah 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 so yes. uh, but in front of the just a white but if you want to uh, make a video from uh, yeah, you can make a video from there yeah no I need to do it from here because I'm taking the drone over all right I'm going to fly over with the camera and I need to be able to see all the way down the, the side of the building so you are using drone yeah I'm going to use a drone just we letting me ask from a manager yeah, if yeah. He, if he'll be fine with drone. it mate I think you just the rules that you mentioned, yeah. they must include like people on site. You're not yeah. allowed to take photos on site. Yeah. Let me ask from go a check. Yeah? Yeah, go sure. check. Thank you. So off he goes to check with his manager. Is it one of the, um, the rules on the sign there, is it? No mention of no filming allowed at all. And even if there was, it would not apply to me standing out here next to a lovely lake, next to public footpaths all day long. Look, Luton is down that way. But what a fantastic building, and they're still putting the cladding on down at the back. So his manager is now just talking to him, look. I think he's got his clarification. Even got people up on the roof over there. Yeah, mate. Uh, from outside, from outside the side, you can ride. And if you, if you, if you want to use a drone, so you can use a drone outside the side, not from inside, yeah? 
Uh, the drone will go over. No, 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 you are not allowed, sorry. He's saying uh, if you want to make a drone, uh, take picture from drone. So do take picture from here. You are not allowed to, 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 to take your drone inside. Well, I need to see the solar panels. No, is, is you are any, not allowed. Is not there allowed. any solar panels up there? Yeah, well, yeah but you are yeah. not allowed. Well, that's what I mean. What will happen if I do it? What will happen? Yeah. Of course, they will take action then. What action is it? I don't know. They will take action. Okay. We are just, okay. We are just here to inform you that you are not allowed to take the pictures on site. If you are... Yeah, obviously, when you first approached, you said you're not allowed to take the photos at all. So oh, you... I said on site, yeah. No, no, from I, here. I told you, if you want to take a picture, you can take a picture from there. Yeah, but at, at the start, you said I'm not allowed, but you were just mistaken, that's all. So now you know we are allowed to take the photos from the outside. We're, yeah, all, yeah, we're also yeah. allowed to take the drone over as well. Yeah, what I'm saying to you, uh, what I'm saying to you if you want to make, uh, use your drone, yeah. you can use your drone from outside, and not from, you can't, you can't take your drone uh, inside or on site uh, to take pictures, right? You can. You can. I can. I will. Uh, oh, are you saying you can't? Yeah, it, he was he was wrong, that's all. Just wait, uh, I will call him, yeah? Yeah, no problem, mate, no problem. Oh my God. So stacks and stacks of loading bays on this one, lot. 75, so you must have 74 on the other side. Going all the way down there. Can't quite make the number out. 123 plus another five more probably 130 bays crazy so we'll just get the drone out so that when the manager does arrive we can show him uh, the size of it etc so that he's got no worries at all about it being illegal So here we are now, the manager is making his way. Let's see what he's going to say, shall we? Yeah, it's nothing to worry about, mate. It's only a little tiny drone. Yeah, but what are you going to do with it? Just get some no, footage. No, what are you going to do with the footage? YouTube. No, no. Sorry? I work here and I'm not allowed to do it. Yeah, so you're playing by the rules? Yeah. Yeah, I'm playing by the rules set by the government, the law. Right, you're, okay. set, you're, you're playing by rules that are set by on-site contractors right, and stuff like that. I'll just get a copy of your regist drone registration then. You won't. Okay. What are you doing? I'm holding this while I see, I want to see a copy of your drone registration. No. Why? Because you're not entitled to it. I am if you're flying it over my side. No, you're not. You're mistaken. Pass me my controller I've back. I've got one of those, mate. Yeah? That's registered as well, so I do know what I'm fucking talking about. Don't swear so at me. No. I'd like you to not use that. You I... can use that, but you can't use that. Simon Coupland, yeah. pass me back my controller for my drone. Right. Can I see your registration certificate then? What please? you can see is that I've got one. You are not... You could have made that up. Yes, I could have. Well, there you go then. You could make your name up. I could have done, yeah, but why would I put it on my ad? Why would I put it on my drone? That's made up. Because I don't know what you're going to do with it. That's not my problem. But if you're, if you're paranoid know. about me having a fake operator's ID, am, yeah. then that's your problem, not mine. Pass me back my controller. Right. And do not take my property ever again. Well, what are you going to do about it? Well, bring the cool. police if you want. Go on. You've given it them. back. Theft bring is only... The, if you've bring got bring a permanent the police, intention then. to deprive me of my property, I then I would have... I didn't have a permanent intention. I just wanted so to see your registration. So why would I call the police? You've get me back. I just wanted to see your registration. You can see it there. No, I can't. You've got your hand over it. You can I see want it. to take a photo you of it so I can check. You can see that I have got one. I cannot, can I? Well, there I it is. I can see you've got a sticker I on it. I can see you've got a name. Yeah. But I, I don't want to see well, your ID. What's your name then? I'm not telling you. Show me your photo ID to prove that your name's correct. Well, I've got my wallet on me. Huh? So, so I've accepted that. Now accept the fact that I'm not giving you the full number. Now accept the fact that I'm not letting you fly that over here. How are you going to stop me? I'm sure we can think of something. Right, well, let's, let's put that to the test then, shall we? Because the drone is being turned on right now. It's being placed on the ground. There are no flight restrictions in this area. I have an operator's ID. I have insurance. Well, how I... do I know that's the proper one? You're not entitled to know. Why am I not? 
Do you, you ask Do you ask every person that enters your site to see all their insurance details and all their bank details and all their driving licence? Just to make sure they're genuinely entitled to work or drive? I make sure they've got the right qualifications to come through that gate, yeah. Yeah, well I'm not coming through your gate, am I? No. But I'm you, outside. You're taking, you're taking drone footage of that. You're trying to check something that you're not entitled to. Well, you're taking, you, you want to take pictures of that that you're not entitled to. Why not? Why am I not entitled to take a photo of your building? Right. I can just deal with German lawyers then, mate. You go Thank you. Off you go. German lawyers. Get back to work. Yeah, Come on. I've got a, why don't you get back to work? I am working. What? By selling fucking YouTube videos? If that's what I want to do, that's what I'll do. So don't, right, if, if don't comes, come if out. Come, if he comes past the gate, set the fucking dog on him. All right. All right. How dare you instruct your security guard to set the dog on me? I said if you go past the gate. Was you not listening? Yes, I was listening. I said, what did I say then? I said if you go past yeah. the gate, set the fucking dog on you. No, you don't at all. Why? You do not set a, a dog on somebody that's going past the gate. I said through the gate, not past the gate. Yeah, even if I go past the gate, it's trespass. You do not set a dog on somebody that's well, trespassing. What's he there for then? You do not instruct your security for, guard to do well, that. Well, I just did. Simon Copland, you are going to face disciplinary procedures from for who? this. From who? From your bosses who see the video. I'm rolling, mate. Right, I'm not bothered. You've swore at me, you've took my drone controller and you've instructed and your you security guard. And I've you've instructed, instructed your security guard to release the dog as soon as I go through them yeah. gates. Because that is asked. disgusting. Your security guard is not even displaying his SIA license. What are you going to do about that? I've seen it. I've got a copy. It's not it. displaying it. By law, you have to display it. Right. Well, There's lots of things now, now that I'm going to pick on. I'm right, going to take this that. drone over and I'm going to find as many you do contraventions that. as possible. You do that. Yeah, I will. Yeah. All right, that's a challenge. Let's go. Wow, 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 Simon Copland. Game on, game on, Simon. What is it with these little distribution centers, eh? Right then, we've checked on drone assist. There are no flight restrictions in this area at all. So, let's have a look to see what this one looks like from above. So there we are. I think security was the most professional. You know, it didn't know about the photography rights at the start, but it kept on checking, didn't it? But the person that he was checking with was Simon. And wow, what do you think to Simon's behavior? Absolutely disgusting. So, very, 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 very big. And let's see what problems we can find then, shall we? Let's have a look at these guys that are working on the roof. Now they have got handrails, right next to them so they should be okay but are there marked walkways oh they're throwing something down there let's have a look see what he's actually throwing down oh, i don't know where that came from or what it is but it just appeared out of nowhere. But yeah, look, handrails on both sides, so anybody working up here will be perfectly safe. No problem with that at all. Down on this side of the site, we just have lots and lots of building materials. We have got some wood stored a little bit close to the building. But no solar panels at all, is there? Let's get a little bit closer to the action over on this roof to see what's going on over there. 
So it looks like this roofing system has got some special outer coating on it. It might be insulated after it's sheeted. Because you can see just here, the roof sheets being laid. And then they apply this extra layer on top. Which looks like it has insulation pushed underneath it, yeah. See that little step? And they're using this sort of whatever it is. It's getting a little bit windy now. Let's get David back and see where this video takes us next. Yeah, it's okay, let's look at the fort lift. Right. Sorry? Why are you taking a photograph of the fort truck? It's just unusual, it's got two wheels on the front. Yeah? So that one, as you can see, two wheels that side, two wheels that side. The Heister 3.0 will lift a lot. So just outside I don't know what they've done here outside with this pallet it's tied to the bottom of that don't know. How bizarre. Wonder what purpose that serves. And they have done it to this one as well. How weird. If anything, it's just rubbing on the uh, graphics, wearing it out. What do you think? Help me out on this one. Why would they do that? Causing damage to the sign. To the yeah, I'll show you. Yeah, it's against the, against the wind, yeah. As the wind is rubbing against the graphics, it's wearing, yeah, it, yeah. wearing it off. Yeah. These are council signs. Oh, right. Somebody will need to come and take them off. Who's put them there? I have no idea, my mate. No so idea. Obviously, these are replaced using the public resources, public purse. So we're paying to replace signs which your company have put a pallet next to. That's not my company, but yeah. No, I know what you're saying. I mean, yeah. yeah. Well, somebody will have to take them off then. What's the purpose? What is the purpose? Yeah, I don't understand why. I don't understand because they don't they flap in the wind them things. They've got a spring well, on them. Spring haven't on they? them, yeah. I've no idea why that's there. And that one. Yeah. I don't understand that either. Ha! Not like they've been there for a long time. Who's the main contractor? God, who's the main one on here now? I don't know who the main one is. Are you um, senior projects? Are you doing automation, are you? Well, no, I'm not, no, right. no, no, no. Are you from the council, are you? No. All oh, right. I'm just, uh, I make YouTube videos. All oh, right. But I do, um, I stand up for the public. Right. When security start coming to tell me that I can't do things, not allowed, but then, whoever's running this place are doing things like this. But you can do what you want on there, but the public can't do what we want. Yeah. That's the videos that I make. Yeah, yeah. I want to promote public rights. Yes. And when a company is doing this, we're members of the public, we will have to pay for this sign now. All because you guys, not you personally, I put that there for some reason. I don't know why, no. it doesn't even make sense. No, I can't understand that, and the don't understand it myself, but well, somebody's put it there. Anyway. Which makes me think that the people who fitted the sign, but why would they do that? Whoever fitted the sign, but why would you do that? It protects itself. If a vehicle goes yes. over it, it'll just spring back. Yes, that's it right. That's the whole purpose of them, isn't it? <laughs> well, I'm glad you're spending so much time thinking about it like me. Oh, it is. It's quite baffling. <laughs> so why? 
you would put two of them. Yeah, I have no idea. What's your best guess? Absolutely no idea. <laughs> you don't no even idea. care. <laughs> do you really care? Yes. Yeah. I, I find do. it interesting. Yeah, I do. Anyway, I'm going to have a look at some other but stuff. I'm going to go and ask. Because if it can be untied at the bottom. It might just save the graphic a bit more. I don't understand. Yeah. Because if they'd put it the other behind like that one, it's not going to cause any damage to the front of that. But it's still, like what, one, what purpose does that yeah, serve? That's, that's just, well, that's just... Maybe, right, just maybe, no it's idea. what it arrived on. It might have arrived on that uh, pallet. Hey. Do you know what? Good, well done. That's come on that. And for some unknown reason... They, they didn't take it away. It, they didn't take them away when they fitted the signs. But why would they tie it? Yes, correct. Maybe for them not to get pinched and we'll come back and... We'll come back and get them one day. Yeah, and never came back. And they've never came back. Let's go with that theory, eh? Yeah. All right. Feels <laughs> a bit mad, though. You're Paul, are you? Yes. All yes. right, thank you, Paul. Okay, mate. We solved that one together, didn't we? I think you are right there, though. Yeah. I think the people who fitted it have tied them to that and said, right, we'll be back for them, and they haven't come back. Yeah. I can't see any of the other reason why. Right, I mystery solved. We'll make a good team, Paul. I don't know why they didn't do it on the back of that one. Yeah. Why they put it on the front. There's all that's done over the months. It's just rubbed against that and rubbed it all off. Well, what we can do, you know, to help, we can move it to the back, go. like that. Correct. Which will save the graphic further. Yeah. Your vehicles that are exiting Very now, big. Correct. they'll keep left. Yes. And if they're from a different country, they won't go over here by mistake. Yeah. There we go. We've made a difference. <laughs> well done, Paul. <laughs> there we go, another problem solved. Which just leaves a little bit of litter outside. I mean, you got this blowing around, haven't you? Before that blows into the public highway, let's uh, put that back onto their land inside. I had to do it very quickly because he was watching, but the DJ Audit's key ring is just under that cone just there. Pink B is here at Lidl now. I've got the message. We will take photos. We will fly our drone. There is nothing you can do about it. But, oh, look at that, falling off the roof. Bits of insulation that have fell down in the distance. But yeah, they certainly tried their best, didn't they? today not with me so let's nip back down to the other gate see if they've opened that and wrap this one up the lads over there as well doing something to the concrete Some blue pipe, maybe. Water, I don't know. Oh dear, the bikes just fell over. <laughs> but security are coming now to spoil the shot. He's got his camera ready. He's filming for his protection as well. Good on him. But look no SIA license on display at all and will he let me have a copy of that footage let's ask him mate can I have a copy of that can I have a copy of that can I have a copy of that video no you do know about GDPR, don't you? Come on, Can I have a copy of it? And have you got an SIA license? Have you got an SIA license? 
Please. Yeah, I will. Have you got an SIA license? Please get out. You are inside the bubble, dear. Where's your SIA you license? You stay outside. Yeah, I just want to know where your SIA license is. You can is. stay outside. SIA? No? You can stay outside, please. Do you have one? Please. Do you have one? Yes please, or no? Sir. Do you have one? Please, sir. Stay outside. Okay. I really just wanted to get the answer to that question, but he was being very polite. I mean, I don't like to push people like that, but he said, no, I cannot have a copy of the footage and I couldn't see an SIA license on display. But anyway, no big deal. That concludes the video here at Luton Lidl Distribution Centre. Looks like it's going to be an amazing place with lots of automation. But once again, our visit has been spoilt by security and construction staff who are so adamant that they're correct and they're entitled to know exactly what you're doing. They're entitled to your operator's ID. They're entitled to your name. We're on the outside. We're only looking in and taking some video footage of the amazing place that you're building. Wow. Anyway, I'll leave this one here. If you have enjoyed that video, do give it a thumbs up for me and I'll see you on the next one guys. Bye bye for now.